the latest from Mashinani right there in the grassroots is extremely interesting. Okay? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, most of our people are seated in uh, places like Nairobi, Mombasa. Most members of these channels are in comfortable cities. They have no idea what is happening down there in Mashinani during their campaigns. And you know the campaign videos that are being sent, that you're being see, that you're seeing on your TVs, ha ha ha! Don't trust those. Okay? Uh, I will just give you one simple example. You will notice there's a difference between Jubilee uh, campaigns and NASA campaigns. Yeah? In NASA campaigns, the sound is very bad. Yes? It's uh, normally very difficult to hear what the speakers are saying. There's so much noise in the background, etc., etc. Now, in a lot of jubilee, uh, <laughs> in a lot of jubilee clips, you will notice the sound is perfect. It's very clear. Yeah. So, what's the mystery here? It's very simple, really. In a lot of the jubilee clips, the background sound is cut off. Yeah. It is, uh, you know, uh, in fact, it's completely muted. Okay. Why is it muted? Because in a lot of instances, there are shouts of protests. Yes, people are protesting, people are shouting. A very good example is the Narok clip. Yeah, because if you look at what appeared on TV and what happened on the ground uh, when Jubilee visited, they are totally, totally different. Yeah. Now with the NASA um, uh, clips, it's not that NASA does not have access to this software. <laughs> it's not that NASA doesn't have the expertise. Yes, but what normally happens is that there's no need to drown yeah the support the shouts of support from the public the appreciative sound from the public there's no need to meet that okay that's really what it is actually what is unfolding is rather fascinating we are getting a situation whereby jubilee are spending a lot of money the addition because you see uh, after the grueling uh, uh, campaign first round uh, money is scarce yes but not for jubilee okay so Jubilee is spending a lot of money, dishing out money to people, uh, buying people t-shirts to come to rallies, you know, renting a crowd and all that and so on and so forth. Okay. Now on the other hand, the very opposite is happening with NASA. With NASA, people are sending money to NASA. <laughs> In fact, one of my people on the ground uh, somewhere in Western Kenya <laughs> was heard saying, to party a pesa to me NASA. <laughs> No kidding. That is the true situation on the ground. Now, of course, of great concern is the fact that uh, money can buy you a lot of things, yeah? Money can buy ID cards so that you don't vote, yes? Reducing the vote tally of your opponent, yes? Uh, money can uh, even get people to switch allegiance, as we have already seen. And uh, we're going to see a lot more of that, you know? People saying, I've crossed over to Jubilee, okay? What you're not told is what they're going to receive in return. And normally it's a handsome uh, check. Now the saddest thing, uh, Kenyans must really be desperate. A lot of Kenyans must really be desperate because uh, the reports I'm getting of some of the payments these people are receiving, I, it's not worth it really. It's a pittance, you know, very little money to cross over. Yeah, and let me not go so much into that. But uh, bottom line, I think as a Kenyan, you need to think beyond your stomach. Yes, I know times are hard, we're all feeling it. I know things are very tough, yes, but uh, I believe it's better to do something that will stand the test of time, yes. You receiving a check of 100,000 or 20,000 or whatever, or even 10 million, 20 million, yeah, that is really a short-term thing, yeah. Uh, that move will not stand the test of time, that one I can assure you, yeah, better, better you go for real change, okay. Now we're going to take a short break. Uh, when we come back, I will show you an amazing video footage of what happened at a Jubilee campaign recently. Yeah, which you never caught in the normal TV channels. That's something really to look forward with, yeah? Uh, so let's just go for the short break now. I'll be back shortly. Who is Chris Kumekuja? Really, who is Chris Kumekuja? Well, a lot of people have said some very nice things about me. Courageous, daredevil, and so on and so forth. But I'll confess something to you. I'm not braver than you are. I'm not more courageous than you are. I'm just me, and I'm just here. And I believe I'm here because of destiny. All the crazy things I've done, all the very risky things I've done, I've done it all for a better Kenya. A better Kenya and nothing else. 
I have come face to face with those dark forces I keep on talking about. The dark forces, yes? And I've even had them threaten my life, okay? I've just been seated somewhere, told to strip naked. One of them is holding a gun. But that happened a long time ago. Let me not go into it. It happened a long time ago during the Moy days. In recent times, I've had very near misses, okay? Crazy, but all for a better Kenya. All for a better Kenya. I'm here to give you a special invitation to join my club 1999, okay? Towards the end of this video, you will get all the details you need to join club 1999 today so that you can share in the passion I have for our country, in the passion I have for our motherland, yeah? And then even more interestingly, in that video, I tell you a bit about myself and why I do the crazy things I do, okay? Make sure you join me in that video. I think you're in for a bit of surprises here and there, if not shocks. Thanks, see you there. Now, obviously, welcome to the second part of this uh, recording. Now, obviously, when you're receiving, uh, uh, when you're having to dish out so much money, and your opponent is actually receiving money from the electorate, naturally, this is not going to go down well with you, yeah? Some sort of jealousy is bound to hit you hard, yes? And this would explain some of the comments you have had coming from the Jubilee side because really it's, not, it's none of their business uh, if people are sending NASA uh, cash, yes? And the finances of NASA really, to be honest, is none of their business, yes? However, the finances of Jubilee is NASA's business. Why do I say that? Because Jubilee is in government, yes? One has to be careful that government resources are not used, yes? Although you can't stop that and I assure you that is what is happening right now as we speak. Okay, so that's the difference, uh, and it's, it's, it's good to note, it's important to note that difference. Now I'd like to ask you a very simple question, yeah, those who have been involved in campaigns before. If we went to a certain constituency, yeah, where people are fighting uh, to be MP, or even a county where there's a race for governor, and then you noticed that uh, on the ground one of the candidates is spending a lot of money dishing it out, uh, you know, to the people so that they can vote for them, yeah? And then you notice that the other candidate, uh, in fact, has made an appeal and people are sending uh, that candidate a lot of money. What would your conclusion be? Now, just think about it for a minute. What would your conclusion of, of this whole scenario be? Actually, it's a no-brainer. It would tell you immediately that the person being sent money must be extremely popular. The person using money is trying to popularize themselves using money. It's really as simple as that. Now, a lot of uh, Jubilee propagandists are very busy trying to tell us how the party is popular, how they won the election. We even have the latest uh, uh, hilarious uh, suggestion from within Jubilee, where hate monger Moses Kuria has said that he'll petition in court for vote recount. Yes. Now, uh, why is that hilarious? We all know why it is hilarious. Because it's like you go into an election, uh, it is proven in court not by rumors or by propaganda peddlers or by anybody else. It's proven in court that one of the candidates actually stuffed ballot boxes, put extra votes in ballot boxes, okay? And then, after it's proven, you say you're going to petition a court to recount the votes because your, your, your candidate won. <laughs> now, that's really funny. Anyway, uh, we are being, Jubilee are telling us they're extremely popular. Jubilee are telling us they have uh, support countrywide. Jubilee are telling us they're going to win again, and this time with 70 plus one. Yes, they're telling us all those kind of things. Uh, but as a wise man once said, uh, don't listen to what somebody says. Instead, observe their actions carefully, then you'll know the truth. Okay? So Jubilee is telling us, we know what they're telling us, but what are the actions? Dishing out money? buying people, yeah, renting crowds, yes. Now, is that consistent with the profile of a popular party? Is that consistent with the profile of a popular candidate? <laughs> I think it's very obvious. I think the answer to those questions is very obvious. If you're popular, first of all, if you're a popular candidate, you'd not, be, you'd not have people trying to rig the election in your favor. You do not have people switching off uh, GPRS locations of KMS kids before the elections. You do not have uh, people fiddling, doing all the massive rigging that was going on in this election. 
those are not the actions of a popular political party. And they're certainly not the actions of a popular candidate, presidential candidate. They're not. Now let's go right down to Mashinani, right down to the field and see really what is exactly happening. Yeah. Now this happened recently in uh, Bungoma. You're going to view a clip very shortly. But let me just give you a background. Uh, Jubilee transported a mass of people to this Bungoma rally. Uh, some of them from as far as Kitale. Okay? And then they paid them 3,000 shillings each and then gave them Jubilee t-shirts to wear. And of course to, to cheer their rally. Yeah? So the people arrived at the rally uh, obediently. Yeah? pesa. And they listened for a few minutes. But then after a while, they could not bear it anymore. They had to ilibidi waoneshero ya kweli. So they broke into song. Okay? They were really, they could not uh, take it anymore. They just broke into song. Yes? Just, just watch the clip for yourself. Was the popular party with the massive support country yeah the popular party which won the august 8th elections yeah that was them in action uh, in Bukoma. okay i don't think i need to add any words the clip i've shown you just tells the whole story okay actually to be very honest with you um i prefer you know rather than hypocrites people tell you lies people tell you something that is not there i prefer those jubilee supporters who are just blunt and honest Yes, those on the ground in Kitengela, uh, in Nyeri, in Nyandaro, places like that, who are just shouting back something very simple, to Taiba Tena. I prefer that, because that is honest, yeah? Rather than trying to say that uh, we have won, we'll win by 70 plus one, yeah? To me, and I'm on the ground, I have people on the ground, I have no doubt that uh, the <coughs> central province and uh, the Kalenjin nation will vote as a block for President Uru Kenyatta. Yes, that will happen for sure. Uh, but I have no doubt on my mind that uh, the side which will win these elections, if it's free and fair, and that's a very big if, is NASA. It's very clear. People want change. Uh, I think it's demonstrated very clearly on the ground. So even if one side keeps on saying they're popular, but have you noticed that uh, NASA does not talk about its popularity? <laughs> they don't need to remind people they are popular. Yeah, it's already it's known. People can see it clearly. Okay, but what, what the other side needs to remind people they are popular. The other side needs to predict that they'll win 70 by 70 plus one. Okay, uh, I do not want to say some things uh, because it will look a little bit too personal. Yeah, it look like I'm attacking Jubilee. Yeah, so let me just leave it at there. Uh, le I'll keep on giving information from the ground exactly as I receive it without sensory and without lying and without fakery. Okay? Uh, as I told you, I do not support any political party, but I support the man down there. I support Wanjiko, I support the common man in Kenya. Yeah, that is the party where I'm a life member to. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja. I trust that you enjoyed that Kumekuja video. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned some things you didn't know. Okay? Now, uh, as Alia promised, you can be able to view this particular very special video which I made quite some time back, yeah, which talks a lot about me and a lot about Club 1999. Yeah, you will see that red arrow pointing to the link, which when you click will take you directly to that video. See you there in a bit. Thank you.